How's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. Right then, in this video I'm going to show you how to make burritos. Extremely filling, very straightforward to do. Relatively basic and what you need as, as regards in, ingredients. So, what will you need? I've got some red kidney beans there. Some garden peas, some petit pois. Some smoked paprika some cumin, garlic granules, some white pepper, the rice. Now I've got some long grain rice there and there's uh, three quarters of a pint of rice in there. So I'm going to be feeding about four people. So there's my rice. Now, 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 now. Some people like to uh, to swill the rice, to uh, to wash it off, to get rid of that excess starch. Now, the thing with burritos, the first thing that you will do is lightly fry the rice. Now, if that rice is soaking, it's just gonna spit and splat all over the place. And to be honest with you, it's, it's not really worth it, unless you are an avid rinser, in which case then it's totally up to you, but be warned, so I'm not going to do that. It's just going to be as is, straight into the pot and fry it off um, until it starts to go golden brown. And it releases this nice nutty flavor. It's very nice. Okay, what else do you need? I've got some grated carrots here. I'll finely chop some spring onion, some tomato puree, some cheese which I will grate and sprinkle on the top but we'll get to that after over here just out of shot I've got some chicken stock I've also got some jalapenos not everybody likes jalapenos in their burrito but I do so I'm having them and I've got my tortillas here now, the keen-eyed of you would think, well, okay, where's the meat? Now, I've already got some cooked meat from yesterday, which I want to use up. So I'm going to use that. However, it is totally up to you what you use. You could use your chicken or minced beef or minced pork. It is absolutely up to you what you use. However, I've already got some. So that's what I'll be using. But don't worry about that. Forget I said that. And we'll just carry on as normal. There's so many different ways to cook burritos. I have seen so many different videos of uh, people doing it one way. Adding this, adding that. Uh, I've seen them with, with fries in there. With chunks of tomato in there. Uh, with guacamole on, uh, over the top. There's just so many different versions of a burrito. However, this particular one um, just keeps on cropping up time and time again. So it's nice to know that I'm doing a relatively authentic recipe for a burrito. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's go over onto the stove. So here we are at the Flame of Ata. I've got my cast iron pot, my Dutch oven, very trusty. So I've put some oil in there, I've heated it up. So I'm gonna pop the rice in. And I'm gonna brown that rice off. And when it's in there, just kind of make sure it's all coated. And just keep on top of it. And just brown it off, or saute. <laughs> yeah, I know words. So I'll just keep that going. In there. Until it starts to go nice and golden brown. And you'll, you'll start to smell it as well because it's like, um, I don't know, it's kind of a, a peanut butter type. Uh, chestnut peanut but that you know that sort of <laughs> along those lines <laughs> but 
take a little while but it will it will get there so we'll just brown that off always keep on top of it keep stirring it and then we'll get to the next stage so as you can see there it's got nice and brown it's absolutely perfect so now we're going to start adding all our stuff so first in we've got our finely chopped spring onion and our grated carrot this is when everything starts to come to life and you get all the smells and really nice just mix that around lovely 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 okay next in there I'm going to add half well I've already used half so I'm going to use the other half now <laughs> half of puree a tube of puree that's going to go in there like so Ugh, waste not want not there we go lovely and yet again, stir that in. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> nice blast of uh, the puree mixing with the tomato and the onion. Absolutely lovely. Fantastic. Okay. So next in there, we're going to add our spices. So, going to be a teaspoon, oh, about one and a half teaspoons actually, to be honest, of pepper. Cumin, two teaspoons of cumin, like so. Smoked paprika. About one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. Now that will really give off some uh, some nice smells. And about a teaspoon of the garlic granules. So we'll mix them together. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That smells so good. Fantastic. Okay. Next, we're going to add our red kidney beans. And they can go in there along with our petit pois. Our <laughs> golden peas. Just give them a light stir around because then we're going to add our chicken stock now because I used three quarters of a pint of rice I'll be putting in two pints of chicken stock so basically the rule of thumb is if you measure a cup of rice it's two cups of water and that's the uh, that's the golden uh, rule of your rice so as I said I didn't uh, I didn't rinse the rice out with this particular dish but uh, even if you do to make it you know nice like a, a dry boiled rice uh, or if you're going to prepare fried rice then uh, just keep the keep the amount the same it doesn't matter that the the rice is actually wet it would still work out the same however because I'm using hot oil and it does kind of splatter and splutter and this for this particular dish I'm not I'm not all that fussed about rinsing the rice out keep the starch in there 
Okay, so I'm going to slowly add the chicken stock. to this like so I'll give it a little stir around just so everything introduces uh, to one another meets and greets <laughs> as they say and I'm going to bring that to the boil and then I'll pop the lid on and it'll be about 20 minutes thereabouts for that to uh, to be done so I'll just let it come up to the boil and then I'll pop the lid on turn the uh, the flame of Ata down to low so it's just simmering underneath the lid so when that comes to the boil I'll show you the next bit so there you go and through the miracle of time and a little bit of decent editing I might say that's just starting to come to the boil now and it smells absolutely gorgeous you say it every time doing it I wish they invented smell of vision but <laughs> it really is really really smelling absolutely spot on so I shall turn the flame of Ata down to low and I'll pop the lid on and I'm going to leave that for 20 minutes just to let everything meet and greet each other and uh, for that water to reduce into the rice and uh, yeah so Leave that for a bit and uh, I'll get back to you in a blink of an eye. Here we are. Right then, let me just get my, uh, it's the top of that is going to be a little bit warm. Like so. <laughs> oh yes, lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Check that out. And that is your burrito filling. Wow. I've said it before, folks, and I'm going to say it again. That smells gorgeous. Absolutely perfect all come together nicely reduced fantastic so let's start pouring this together so we'll go back over to the worktop and start doing some burritos but we're not quite finished yet because when we've done the wrap I like to sear them so I'll be putting them in a frying pan just to sear that um, to uh, bring everything together a bit like getting an iron on a shirt so you everything's uniform that's a nice word isn't it uniform but look at that wow lovely 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 right then let's get making them let's do this hey <laughs> lovely okay let's get some of that mixture and pop it into the middle Sorry about the shadows, folks, but uh, it's quite dark at the moment. So there you go. That's the uh, the meat I was telling you about, chicken. I wanted to use it up, but you could use um, uh, minced beef or pork. It's totally up to you. But I had some chicken left over, and I wanted to use it up. So if you remember right. At the very beginning of this video, that's why I do apologise, everybody. But no, waste not, want not. So I pop that on top of there, 
like so. Lovely. And I've got my uh, grated cheese. Like that. I'll just wipe my hands. And bring in the sides like that. Keep it nice and tight. And just fold it over. And just gently press it down like so. Now, what I'm going to do to keep it all together is to sear the bottom of the burrito. Just a, a bit like getting him, as I said, an iron on a shirt just to keep everything together so that's what we'll do next and that's the final stage so yeah so let's go back over to the flame of Ata and do that okay so here we go put that down onto low will be a little bit smoky it's a thin pan <laughs> it happens but I'm just going to push that down and just sear the bottom of that burrito. Some people wrap them in foil and pop them in the oven to do this. But um, I like the flavour of the, uh, the burrito, the tortilla I should say really, when it's just slightly toasted at the bottom. keeps everything together there you go it's a bit like a quesadilla really in, in, in some respects but there you have it that's all you need really just to keep that together so I'll turn the flame evator off and I'll bring it over here and I'll even cut it for you. How about that? How good's that? So pop that onto there. I should be using a chopping board. Don't tell the good lady. Keep it between me and you. So I've got my big chopper out. Stu, you've always got your big chopper out. Well, I know, but it is what it is. So there you go. Nice and crispy. Take a look at that. Oh yes, Burrito City. Lovely, fantastic, and they smell absolutely fantastic. I'm going to, I'm actually, <laughs> my mouth is watering. Yeah, so if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, even better, click subscribe, it would mean the world to me, and I will catch you on the next video. I'll catch you later folks.